when the internal strength model was created was we took an evolutionary perspective. So the perspective that Dre is talking about how we have to look at evolution and we have to see how strength training actually evolved, mm -hmm. right? And in, in the natural evolution is how it makes sense from a scientific perspective, meaning that essentially what happened was if you look at the basics of physics, right? It started with Newtonian physics, which was the laws of motion that shows us how everything kind of works. But when it goes down to the particle level, it breaks down, mm -hmm. right? And so, and so the natural progression of strength training makes sense to evolve externally and then internally. Mm -hmm. But to solve the issues that strength coaches, therapists, people working to try to uh, elicit some sort of work to change that individual in a positive or favorable manner, they have to have both models. Mm -hmm. Right, like, like there's been a paradigm shift where we, what we're seeing essentially when you guys discuss the injury rates is we're seeing a failure of the internal stuff, right? And the biggest thing that we see when we go to these organizations, work with these athletes, all of us have seen this, is when you go, what are you doing for connective tissue architecture or connective tissue load bearing capacity? They go, I don't know. 